one of the most challenging aspects of keeping livestock here in Maine is the winter time. We've got below freezing temperatures, lots of snow, sometimes rain like today, and of course, ice. But one of the most challenging things that I find about keeping livestock is providing them with fresh, clean water. As you can see here, I have a hydrant installed out at my, my barn so that I can just simply come over here, flip it on. However, the first year I kept livestock here at my farm, I wasn't quite so lucky, and I had to drag a water hose 175 feet from my house out here to the livestock area and then when I was done I'd have to drain the hose so it didn't so it wasn't so heavy or freeze and then roll it back up and then I would store it inside uh, where nothing would freeze so I could do it again the next day or the next couple days and so I wanted to be able to to do that the least amount of time as possible so what I would do is I would use large livestock waterers for that. Now in the winter time, you either have to break the ice or add a heater. And so I added a heater. And then I realized, hey, if I get a bigger container, I don't have to drag the hose out as much. So that's what we'll be doing today is showing you some different type of pig waterers and hopefully these tips will help you. So whenever possible, I like to water and feed my pigs outside. And the reason I do that is when they eat and drink outside, they will urinate and defecate more outside than they will inside. Now during the summer months, uh, they're a little bit more active and they don't defecate and urinate inside the barn but when it's real cold in the winter time they don't like to get up they're a little lazy and they'll pee and poop in the barn and so if i can feed them outside uh, they'll do most of that outside and when you water them outside you can use one of these open stock tank type waterers without much issue however if you have to water your pigs inside we run into a different situation let's go check out my growing pigs my grower pigs live here inside the high tunnel and they don't have access to the outside during the winter time because i didn't get the pasture built before the ground froze. so they have to eat and drink inside this pen and that means I have to do a little bit more cleanup, but I can still make my life easier by providing them a self-water. Let's take a look at a self-waterer for pigs and how it works. First, you need a container, some kind of vessel that's large enough that the pigs won't run out of water and large enough to meet your needs where you don't have to fill it up constantly. This happens to be a 100-gallon stock tank, and it provides these growing piglets with enough water for several days. And so they are equipped with these water nipples. And the way these work is simple. Uh, the water pressure keeps the plunger out so that water doesn't leak out. And when the pigs want to drink, they come and put their mouth around it and press down on the stopper, and water comes out. Let's get started building our heated self-waterer for our pigs. We're gonna need one of these black polymer stop tanks. I prefer the ones that already have the drain plug drilled. That way, I can install one of these drain plug water heaters. And that's so the pigs can't reach in, grab the cord, pull the heater out, freeze it in the stock tank, or the pigs chewing on the wires and destroying the heater. Of course, we need our nipples. We need a way to drill the hole for the nipples. These take a three-quarter inch pilot hole. You can do that with a twist bit, a Forstner bit, a spade bit, or a step bit. And then I like to use a little bit of silicone on the threads just to be sure we don't get any leakage. And then I use these half-inch PVC adapters to thread onto the pig nipples. 
And what those do is they provide a little bit of support from the back side to keep the pigs from wallowing out the holes. But it also, they're nice, bright, and white so that you can see inside the stock tank and see where those water nipples are installed. And then when you refill the pig waterer, I take the water hose and squirt on the inside of these and it just cleans out the water nipple so you don't get clogged so the pigs always have fresh clean water. You'll need an adjustable wrench, a set of locking jaw pliers, a tape measure, and a pencil. So let's get started. I forgot to mention a drill comes in real handy to operate those drill bits. And of course, chickens are completely optional, but I gotta be honest, I find that they don't help the process very much at all. So working off the front side of the tank, opposite of where the drain plug is, I'm gonna take my tape measure and measure about eight to 10 inches down from the bottom. So depending on how the tank is made, you may have these ridges and have to adjust a little bit. It's a little cold this morning, so the drill doesn't want to work. No problem there. So I found the taper on this particular hog nipple wasn't as, uh, as small on the end as some of the ones I've done in the past. So I just used the step bit to widen out the hole just a little bit to allow those threads to get started. I didn't want to go all the way through and make the hole too big. Then you can see I can push it in and those threads grab nicely. And then I'm going to use my pliers here to thread these in the rest of the way because that ledge just makes it tough to use the, the wrench. Okay. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of silicone and put on these threads. So now we've got two really nice leak-proof water nipples installed and it's time to move over to the back. So here on the back of the tank we have the drain plug. Uh, you have the drain plug cap and then you have this uh, retaining washer here that we need to take off in order to pull this assembly out so that we can install the drain plug heater. And the easiest way to do that is if you have a large set of locking jaw pliers. Just go ahead and make sure that O-ring is seated around the base. Okay, so we're going to orientate this. Whoops. Going to orientate where the bulky part is on the top. Insert it into the hole. Set the tank down. So now I need to run this other o ring over the cable, put it around those threads. And then come in with my collar, once again, over the plug. And then we're going to put this on here snug. The last and final step in this process is to install our, our PVC adapters onto the back of these nipples. 
to give it just a little extra structure and some visibility so it's easier to clean them out. So just put those on hand tight. Come in here with my adjustable pliers, give them a good snugging down till I see that I'm making full contact with the back. And there we have it, a functioning heated self-waterer for pigs. This video was brought to you by the University of Maine Cooperative Extension Grazing Behavior Lab and the Equipping New Farmers with Practical Skills and Knowledge grant. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy.